Alright, folks. Sam the man is still here. Let's get up, Sam. Alright, feeling good. And let's get moving. 31 seconds rest. No rest for the wicked, unfortunately, Sam. Um, have we got a generator anywhere around here? I'm in need of a charge. Um, yeah, we've got the hot spring signs. That's useful to know, I guess. Um, yeah, no generators that I can see. That is not very helpful. Um, I think we're going to have to build one somewhere. Have I got PCC on me? Nope. So we're going to have to go to that post box. Where did I leave that? It is... Here? There we go. So we're going to that post box. And that's where our actual uh, cargo is that we need to collect. So um, I think it is anyway. Yeah, it's that one. Just checking it wasn't another one. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going to go to that uh, post box. And we're also going to go and collect our stuff from that post box there. So a few things to do. Ooh. Mind where are you going, Sam? Weapons restrictions lifted. Mind where you're going, JJ. <laughs> I like this area of the map, I'll be honest. When I was playing on my own, I was actually just quite happy hopping between these points, just making deliveries. I found it very chill. I mean, I didn't even find that spring until several days into playing this actual area. So, um, yeah, it was a fun little discovery. And that, that's what this game's all about, just finding things. Um, so, yeah, I, I keep saying it. I do advise people to have a go of it, because even though I'm going to try and cover as much as possible in this video, or in these videos, I know there will be stuff I miss. I haven't 100 it. I haven't got all the trophies. And even though someone else has, yeah, I look and I think, Go and, go and find it for yourself in that sense. You know, go and actually see this world because it is worth it. Plus, I will say, on the PS5 especially, Sam is very interesting to control. I mean, I don't know how similar it was on the PS4, but on the 5, you've got the um, haptic feedback on the controller. So, at times, there is a very... There is a very realistic feel to how he controls... It's like right now I'm crossing this river, I've got the thumbsticks down and I can feel the pressure of the river on the thumbsticks. You know, and it's pretty cool for that. Alright, so let's pick all this up. A little bit of a risk carrying it all as far as we are just going to go towards mules, but I am going to try to be aggressive against them anyway. Try and make sure there are none behind me. Hey, come and get him. All right, so that guy's there. Now, I'm going to try and lay in on a little, I wouldn't say a little secret, obviously, but a tip. This is the ball gun. This guy should cross the river. Watch this. Nice and easy way to knock them out. If they cross the weather, the, the weather, I did John from Ross there. If they cross the river, then they slow down. And to be honest, it's why I try not to cross rivers when I'm in an offensive moment, because I slow down. So, um, yeah. The only reason I'm going to move from here is if they start throwing poles at me, because then I'm stunned. But if, if they do what that guy did, I've got some easy targets. Yeah, that guy threw one. And that one. Okay, they're trying from range. Here we go. Oh, that one did get me.
headshots knock them out quite quick as well. So that's worth taking into consideration as well. Um, when in water, they will go down regardless, so you don't have to aim for the head. But if you're aiming for them uh, when they're on normal ground, then you want to aim for the head. Alright, I don't think any more are coming right this second. But we are about to encounter something very nice. You can see it there. A truck. Trucks are very useful for carrying large amounts of... or larger amounts of materials. So, we're going to try and hijack the truck. Let's just pick this up first. Oh, I thought that was the cargo. Oh, that was underwhelming. Ah, it's the mule box there. Cool. See, we've got a headshot, they got knocked down. You can tell they're knocked out because they'll have the stars above their head. Oh, I can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, that was not good. Not good. All right, um... Ooh, okay, that was not good. Ooh. Okay, we knocked him down. Restoring blood levels. Sounds like it's gone quieter. But one of them's still alive. Or conscious. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's here. There we go. Down for the count. There we go. You know you're done once it says portals will tempor temporarily be able to traverse this area. So, uh, this is all very good. We've got a load of materials as well, which I really wanted to start collecting. So, um, yeah, very, very good this. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to do a couple of trips because these trucks are pretty trash. <laughs> they allow you to carry more, but still more isn't as much as you'd want. So my thoughts are I'm probably going to use this to transport things to my post box, but when I'm saying that, that probably still wouldn't help. Yeah, issue with the post box. It has a limited capacity. Let me just have a look. What uh, what does it actually need? It needs carol crystals. We got them. It would need... Oh, and that's the paver. Um, is that it? Cool. 200 metal. All right. Have we got 200 metal just hanging around here by any chance? We've got a load of my cargo. Mm, not a lot. Of, oh, hang on. We've got metal here. 200. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go to that post box. Um, is it over there? I think it's over there. Yeah. So we're going to have a bit of back and forth here. Um, I know I've just done that truck, but right now I want to just try and give myself a destination to go to. And I could really do a building a generator as well. <laughs> I've got a PCC. I haven't. Oh, damn. Alright, I'm going to struggle. Um, hopefully there's a PCC that the mules had. <laughs> because if not, I am going to be in trouble. It does recharge in daylight, so I'm. if I just walk I might be fine, but ideally that isn't the case. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the structure. We've got 200 metals. It boosts the storage capacity. So it means we can just store a bit more in our private locker. It also gives me a chance to uh, rest Sam. It's good to keep him rested. Okay, so for that reason, I am actually going to just mute it a little bit. <laughs> I mean, when I'm playing on my own, I don't mind it. But if I can avoid having music playing, it would be quite good. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, Keep on keeping on. 
Mm, we'll do the mule warning. Mule warning makes sense. Um, and as far as who we're going to have greeting, let's have the Jumbo Ludens, why not? So from that, we can go to the private locker. And I'm just going to store everything right now in here. Well, at least everything off my back. How much do I need for another upgrade? Um, 600 metals. Alright, if I see 600 metals, I am bringing them back here. They don't have unlimited capacity, the post boxes, but they, they are quite useful. Ooh, there's a bit of metal in that lot. A bit of metal. And a PCC. Oh, that was, that was a bad call. I shouldn't have gambled on that. Thankfully I hadn't got any cargo, so uh, I made the right call going for the post box. For the record, that's also why you're able to bowl with them in water, because like Sam, they have uh, flotation devices. I have to give the game credit, they did think of things like that. Alright, so two metals here. Um, I would really like them, just the metals, not the raisins. There we go. Alright, alright, you don't keep beeping. <laughs> um, we got the PCC, I really want that. Uh, more metals, I'll take them. Ceramics. Oop. And ceramics again, and ceramics again, lovely. Let me just uh, organise that just so it doesn't uh, drop me off balance. If I could build a generator around here as well, I will. I may have to cross here though. You're not allowed to build devices close to enemy territory. Now, technically this is in an enemy zone, but arguably the territory is back there where the camp is. So I'd say I'm near to, not in territory. But I don't know if the game will agree. Nope, it's happy. Yeah, he's, he's knackered as Sam. <laughs> We're putting through the ringer today. Alright, have some bridges. Just drink that. <laughs> there you go, you feel that... Uh, do you feel that pumping through your veins? Okay, so I can see these coral crystals here. I just won't grab these. You may have noticed, by the way, I haven't even looked at the order yet. I know where it is, it's got the big blue light around it, but my focus right now is on just making sure we've got this enough to just try and get some of these materials for ourselves. In the long run, it is really worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, there was ceramics there as well, and metal, so we'll try and grab them. I'm curious what it's going to look like on the truck all this. I mean, the fact I'm carrying it, it shouldn't be that bad, but... i say it again, the trucks are pretty bad for storage. Well, these trucks. You, I mean, as you saw in the... Uh, it's some of the cities. There are trucks there that are locked. That's why I've never picked one up and driven them. But uh, when they aren't locked, they are pretty useful. Okay, just a bit further now. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> I like how the game's trying to go. You, you, you know you're not doing the objective, don't you? More metals. More ceramics. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Just stay with me, Sam. Stay with me. Alright, so we're going to have to drop them off. So all of this lot all of it on the truck. That looks close to full to me, so I'm actually going to drive that to the post box and see how much we get. Ooh. Just a quick reminder, if you kill someone, you have to incinerate them. <laughs> 
So, um, don't do what I did there and just kind of run them over. Uh, running them over won't kill them. In fact, you can actively choose to run them over just to knock them out. But, yeah, don't go out your way to really hurt them. Okay, so park close to the pot, the post box, you're able to just go in the truck. So I'm going to try and do all this here. Oh, is that the... Ah, I thought that was the truck. Oops. And I did say it, I'm going to upgrade the structure, just for the fact that... Uh, really? It was 600 metal, so we have got 600 here. Um, yeah, we've got 400, 500, 600. So the truck is empty, so we can afford to just uh, go back for some more now. This is the kind of stuff I'll be doing, but not on video. Because I recognise this is going to take a while. I might cut a little bit out just to speed it up. But yeah, um, essentially you want to clear this place out. You want to make it so that the mules don't have a lot to wake up to. And can you tell, a little path is forming based on where I've been. <laughs> Again, I think details like that are pretty cool in the game. Right, we've got ceramics there. I'd like to pick them up. Okay. I don't like getting in and out of the, uh, the truck just for the fact that it takes a while. The animation's slow, but it's kind of needed. Ooh, look at all that lot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, one, two. Place all that in there. We obviously need the mission objective. Just seeing what else there might be. Ooh, there's quite a lot in there. I'd be really negligent if I didn't try and get some of it. I'm just aware I've nearly been recording two hours and I've just come off a stream, so... Yeah, I don't be on the computer all night. Oh, hit that up. There we go. Nearly skim past that. Um, yeah, let's grab these. It might be that I have to drop these off in the truck, but come back for the rest. Oh, yeah, be careful of that. <laughs> There we go, grab a bowler gun. It's worth getting them just so you don't have to craft them yourself. Uh, resins... I think that might be it for all the raw materials. There is a truck over there, but I'm not grabbing that. 50 metals, we can drive over there, so... I'd say we're in a good spot. Let's just grab this. Alright, so put that on our back. Hmm, I'm probably going to bring the truck up for this. Alright, um, confirm. Yeah, I've got too much on me. Alright, um, how much can I put on the truck? Okay, so from here... What I'm going to try and do, I, I do want to go to that post box again. Um, was it around here? No, I'm going the wrong way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop everything off my back by this post box. So to do that quickly, you just hold down triangle. Mm. 
Okay, I have dropped my order as well, so it kind of forces me to come back. I'm hoping that's going to be enough for me to get on the truck. Yeah, we can drive now. So we're going to go to that post box, try and drop this off, and then hopefully we can come back and pick this lot up. I may need to charge this up as well. So uh, there may be some jump cuts here just what, to save your watching that. Hmm. That'd be something I'd like to see clearly, but I can't actually find it anywhere. How much can that post box hold? Because it'd be good to know so that if you're struggling, you can say, right, I'll go and build another one. Okay, so I call this the last, uh, the last trip. Okay, so drop off that. My hope is that if I go to the post box, it will also recognise this cargo on the floor. A little bit. Load that all onto the truck. I'm curious what weight that is. I can still get on the vehicle. Alright, that's good. This is the difficulty with the game. You've got to be greedy, but you've also got to sort of know when enough is enough. It's like there's a post box over there. And I am going to have a quick look. But I don't think it's really worth gambling now because I've stored away all the materials I want to store. I think what I'm going to do here is just see if I can maybe get one or two more things in. Sorry about the, the audio there, I don't know why that's glitching. Yeah, so if I can get them ceramics in, I'm doing it. No. <laughs> Alright, can I get any of them in? Right, I'm going to leave that there just on the off chance it stops me getting in. Alright. Yeah, the hologram's just causing a glitchy noise. Okay, so that is that really. We aren't going to uh, push our luck. Now, I feel a bit guilty in the sense because I'm coming this way. And because of that, it means I'm not actually going towards a, a road. Although I might be wrong, but I think a road has been built elsewhere as well. We will see, I suppose, on the journey. I'm getting out because there's a post box there and I'm thinking if I could, uh, if that's a level 3 one I could store a bit there. Ooh, level 2. It might be able to store a bit though. This one what I'm talking about with greed. Uh, that post box miles away. I'm not going for it. You see, it's one of them things where it's hard sometimes to say, nah, I'm leaving it, but I'd be here for an hour, maybe not an hour, but it feels like an hour. just picking up materials and I go back to it, it is worth it but uh, it is time consuming as well okay so you can actually see the road up ahead someone has put the first steps into uh, getting it repaired and built I mean that's the bridge obviously I would say bridges are like maybe the third best uh, structure in the game. I mean, they aren't bad or anything. I'd say generators are maybe tied third. But um, yeah, I find bridges are quite useful for like getting over areas like this in a truck. But oddly enough, I don't tend to build them. I, I could do a building one just for. Again, I've got that uh, level 3 gen. Uh, level 3 um, what are they called level 3 uh, con constructions or PCCs, I've got a level 3 I'm all, I've forgotten what they're called it's nearly midnight my time, I'm, uh, it's getting close to my bedtime alright so for the record when you're on this road if, when you're in the middle you don't drain your battery so uh, this is quite comfortable now. 
and it goes straight over mule territory, which is a nice little bonus. So, whoever built that road, you did us all a solid, so thank you. Now, if I've got anything I can dump here, I will do it. Just to get okay. this one done. I'm saying that, we've got some metals here. And is there anything here I can just borrow? From Fax Sparrow? Uh, claim cargo. Some metals. Might come in handy. Alright, so we do need a bit of everything, it seems. Um, so, metals. It's a good job I did that. How many do I need of that? Ooh, 160 is going to be overkill, but we may as well. Alright. We've overkilled them, but they are building it, so let's build a road. Sadly, you can't get your materials back, but it's worth it for the roads. So yeah, honestly, brilliant to do. Um, I'm, if I do work on it, I will probably do a lot of it off uh, off recording, just so that I don't uh, I don't spend all my time doing it uh, for you guys. But I thought it was important to show the process of raiding the mule camp, showing what I was doing, um, and you can see why the materials are important to me. And that was quite light, I thought. Sometimes the metals and ceramic requirements are very heavy, not to mention chiral crystals. So, um, certainly worth, uh, it's certainly worth pausing sometimes, collecting what you can. Okay, so, a bit like I said earlier, this is home base. It's, uh, it's good to be home. Sam's tired, I'm tired. We can have a rest here. Now, one thing, you can't store mule, uh, trucks here. So even though I'm parking it here, just to uh, drop off my resources, you cannot leave it here. You need to park it outside. <laughs> so uh, we're going to deliver requested cargo. You expect. <laughs> it's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. When you think they're right, it was in a post box. All you have to do is take the mules out and then get it. Very easy in that sense. We should get the third star here. We should. There we go. Ooh. Sam, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot said he was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? <laughs> Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain. Best suited to long flat stretches, yada, yada, yada. We're working on securing you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that too. Yeah, we got the bike back, essentially, so pretty good. Um, ooh, we, we got two bikes. Uh, we got the reverse trike long range, so essentially bigger battery. And we got more Carol network uh, from Lake Knot City. All right, just send that in. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs, 
Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy, as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just ask her, and judge for yourself. If I'd like it or not, we need her help. <laughs> Sam, it's fragile. A year you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. As long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Yeah, so I think it's quite safe to say Sam's knackered, I'm knackered. So I'm going to send him to his private room and uh, yeah, I'm going to go to my private room. So uh, all I can say is folks, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, uh, yeah, I've got to drive this truck away, haven't I? I forgot about that. Ugh. All right. So yeah, that, that ruined my outro. Let's just get it all off the truck. Here we go. You know what? I might even just go and collect all that stuff for the post box just in this little downtime as well. Um, yeah, it's something that I don't particularly want to be doing on stream, like I say, so uh, that might be the way to do it. Just uh, go and run and collect it while we're in between uh, records, I should say. I keep saying streams. I've been streaming tonight, like I say. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, check me out on Twitch. Clues in the name. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.